And thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, whether you're in the car, at home, whatever you're doing, thank you so much. And if you happen to like these videos, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the share button. We want these uh, videos to be spread out yeah. so that way people can be encouraged by the Word of God. Yeah. And if you don't like them, remain silent. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just do nothing. Um, but really, this is us just sharing um, yeah. the Word of God with you. Um daily so that we can stay in it, right. be challenged, be encouraged, talk about it with a friend, um, and hopefully this inspires you today. I'm going to read a verse to you from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. I might go into 16. We'll see. Um, it says, if someone asks about your Christian hope, always be ready to explain it. Mm. I'm going to go into 16. But do this in a gentle and respectful way. Mm. That is packed with goodness. Now, yesterday you shared an awesome verse. If you didn't catch it, jump back to Monday. You you shared a verse. Remind us a little bit about what that verse said. Yeah, it was uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 13. And it talked about Peter and John and how there's other people who noticed Peter and John being ordinary people but how they were ordinary but extraordinary because they spent time with Jesus. Yeah, and it doesn't go in. I mean, we can look at their life and get some clues, but it doesn't go into specific detail of what the Sanhedrin, what the people noticed about them. It just said they could literally tell just encountering them Mm -hmm. that they'd spent time with God. And we talked yesterday about, like, how does that play out in our life? But this verse, now that we read in 1 Peter, kind of takes it a step further. When someone has noticed that there's something different about you. Hey, you know what? There's something different about how you react to conflict. Hey, you got hurt. I've been hurt, but yet you were able to forgive or you seem to have a peace even though things are going crazy around you. When people begin to note, or they might notice you praying before your meal at the lunch table in the, in the, office lunchroom you know like people will begin to notice those things Mm -hmm. but this verse says be ready to give an answer that's difficult for some people i think there's many of us that get very nervous about like what Mm -hmm. am i going to say do i have to do like romans road lead them to faith like what if my boss walks in or you just don't know what to do or i'm at a street Mm -hmm. corner but really our faith is not something that we're to keep private, right? In numerous places throughout the Bible, you know, we've been commissioned. We've been charged with sharing our faith and spreading the message of Jesus Christ. Um, God does an incredible job of revealing himself to people. Yeah. But he had a design and a plan in using us yeah. to be a part of furthering that. That's right. And you know, it does. It can seem intimidating. Yeah. But really what we have to think about this is that God's already working in their hearts, in their lives. Really what God wants you to do is to reveal what God's done in your life yeah. to them. And it can seem difficult to say it was like, oh, you have to give an account. You have to you have to be ready to, to answer any question. And that that's just not true. I mean, you don't have to know every single thing about this right here. That's where faith and that's where um, boldness comes in and that's where wisdom comes in. And the Bible is very clear. If you lack wisdom, what do you do? Ask. You ask for it. And so this is a great way every single morning, every single time that you go into a situation, either at work or the grocery store, um, ask God, say, God, give me wisdom. God, help me to be a noticer. God, help me to, if, if there's a situation for me to share my faith, yeah. Um, help me to do that with boldness and confidence. And I think this verse is interesting because it says, let me read it again in verse 15. It says, when someone asks about your Christian hope, mm. always be ready to explain it. So when someone notices, hey, you, they might not even realize it's God in your life. Mm. So it's not even giving an account of what you believe and all of that. I think that's what you're leaning towards, Pastor. Yeah. It can also just be saying, hey, what's different about me? It's that I love God. Yeah. God has made such a difference in my life. You know, our daughter started school, like many of your kids, in the last few weeks. And um, we decorated her locker. She's at an age where she has a locker. Yeah. And I made her uh, a little sign to hang in there. And it says, she walked with the Lord. That was her game-changing strategy. Mm. It's just a reminder to Malia, hey, you're different than every other kid walking in this hallway. And the reason you're different is because you walk with God and not to mm. be ashamed by that. And I said, hey, there might be a little girl coming up or, or boy. Hmm, that's another topic. But there might be someone coming up to your locker to ha- say nope. hi who notices that. Yeah. That's an opportunity. What do you have that in there for? There's things all around us. Just be ready to say, hey, it's God. God's yeah. made the difference. Not to be ashamed. No. But to do it gently and respectfully okay yeah. we don't need to be obnoxious we no. don't need to be like ah um but just looking for opportunities yeah. that god gives us every day yeah and it's yeah. not this isn't the opportunity to, to prove that 
you're right and they're wrong. Yeah, a that's, debate. Yeah, yeah, that's where it says, hey, let's do it in a gentle way. Yeah. Let's let's spend time with God. And as we do so, just like we talked about yesterday, that people would notice. Yeah. And then just like what you were saying, simple, point it to God. Yeah. That's all you need to do. And say, hey, the reason why I'm respectful, yeah. the reason why I'm kind, the reason why I have a peace when the, my circumstances are, yeah. uh, are a mess, the reason it's why I have God. a peace is God. <laughs> you know, Period. it's a beautiful gift when someone asks you. Yeah. When someone notices, don't miss that opportunity. Point them to Jesus. Amen. Hey, thank you for tuning in today. We hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for, for Spiritual, spiritual growth. growth.